This is the first of a few videos that I'm going to do to try and explain uh, some of the effects in Float32, how it works, what its effect is on Stalker, and uh, just, just a general overview, basically. I've chosen the perfect time of day to show off lighting effects, but if you go ahead and look at the gun and everything else, it appears wet. It's a new little added effect, along with the uh, rocks and such. Uh, I mean, it's raining, so they should appear wet. And suddenly it stops, so... Go ahead and make our way to garbage here. Of course, fight off some bandits. Not with that. I guess we'll stop toying around here. Ooh, something's going on in there. That was interesting. All right. Get out of my way. Thanks.
Wow. This screenshot material right here. Anyway, this is a real good example of the indoor lighting in Float 32. Um, it's the same as the sun lining. Um, basically, uh, anisotropic lighting, even though this guy does not enjoy me having my gun out. It's very directional. Uh, it's based on a... It's based on the direction of the light source. So if I'm standing underneath, we're going to have a generally uniform reflection, whereas in the isotropic form, it didn't treat models that way. Now if we back off a little bit, we'll get more of a reflection in the direction of the light. It's a much more realistic model, and it also helps the uh, self-shadowing algorithm that I have going along with the uh, the microfacet distribution. Uh, basically, microfacet distribution is, let's say, um, this uniform here. Uh, it looks like it has, I mean, it's all shader driven there's there's nothing special about the texture it's done real time but it appears as if there is that's um, fabric um, same with this wood it looks like wood I mean it's it's nothing super spectacular I'm running medium settings here but uh, adds a little subtle quality improvement that's that's nice to have and then on top of that uh, of course we have the uh, general frames per second increase with float 32 over the stock stalker game code even though uh, float 32's lighting algorithms are much much more complicated but the reason for the increased uh, frames per second is because this lighting algorithm treats everything differently so we're not just painting specular reflections and, and things on everything it's uh, very selective on how it paints to surfaces. Here's another example of the uh, micro facets you'll see in his cloth hood here. The self-shadowing on the texture and also on the wall as the lights cast down. It's very bright. Uh, there have been a few complaints about lights being too bright, but I mean if you have a bright light up here and you have a concrete wall that's fairly white, it's going to reflect a good amount of light. So. Um, anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Um, the next one will be starting off in garbage.